hi there this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of cancer <sighs> sun moon rising venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the cancerian this is for the second half of may but as you guys know all readings are technically timeless look at my hair Lord. all readings are technically timeless so it's just sort of relevant when you watch it you know here we go first card it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all is block someone's energetically blocking their heart <sighs> okay if this is the cancerian that's water cancer scorpio pisces they feel everything because they're water yeah they're emotions now, for a person who feels everything and has been hurt in the past, so they don't want to feel anything, they don't want to get hurt again, it poses a fucking problem. Spirit is saying here, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, someone wants to love you, is what it feels like. And that's actually so goddamn beautiful. It almost brings a tear to my eye. You can tell I'm going to get my period soon. <laughs> Jesus, I'm, I'm not water at all. I am so not water. I'm Aquarius sun, Gemini rising, Capricorn moon. My Venus is in Aquarius. Look, you have the tower, your first card. It hits you suddenly. Something is sudden with the tower. This could be a sudden ending and then a sudden new beginning. It is divine intervention. It is universal intervention. This is the universe intervening. This could be... Wow, you know what I just heard in my head when I said that? When I said this could be, I heard love. This could be love. There's two people falling out of the tower, yeah? So this is falling in love. This could be love. Oh, no, somebody doesn't like that. You want to know why they don't like that? Because it means that they have to open their heart, and they don't want to open their heart. How do I love without being vulnerable and getting hurt queen of cups being open sensitive vulnerable three of cups celebrations it's also a reunion now with the three of cups this could be a lot of celebrating going on you guys could be i mean it's graduation season right now graduations births weddings things of that sort y'all it's like things to be excited about is what I feel though. Like, yay, excitement. But then yet the excitement dies out when it's like, oh, but I got to open my heart. Oh, but I got to like be fucking vulnerable. No, thank you. If you want a reunion with someone that is going to love the shit out of you, open your goddamn heart. Oh, crrr. Temperance, Sagittarius, but temperance is balance. It is patience. It is alchemy. It is also reconciliation. It's divine intervention. There's a lot of, I don't know why I laughed. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing because it's funny, but I would, well, it's kind of funny because it, this is temperance. There's two cups. Everything is cups water emotions queen of cups three of cups then temperance with the cups even though temperance is sagittarius and it's you know fire um and then the tower it's like you're trying not to feel which is impossible if you're the water sign I mean, unless you have other things in your chart, but even so, like a water sign like that, no way you can get out of it. See, this is you guys' cancer, the chariot. It's just, you can't. It's like they're trying not to feel, but it's like full steam ahead. Look at the chariot right here in the middle. Chariot is a delivery. It's victory. It's moving forward very successfully, but it's you. Three of Pentacles. See, somebody wants to love you. Somebody wants to, like, collaborate with you. Somebody wants to get together with you. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. Teaming up. Someone wants to love you. Oh, I fucking told you somebody wants to love you. The Ace of Cups. I told you, bitches. Whether it's male or female, it's somebody wants to love your ass. Whether it's, it's a cross watcher, whether it's a Cancerian, I told you. Someone wants to love you. Ace of Cups. It's like true love too 
but somebody here feels like they've been hurt in the past I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to fall in love again and it be... Somebody here could have been a third-party situation with the Three of Cups. They may have been cheated on in their past. And you talking... They could, these motherfuckers could have been cheated on in seventh grade and still be jaded about the shit now as an adult. This shit works like that. Especially if you're talking about a Cancerian male. Water sign male. A male in general. Judgment. Something from the past comes back. Somebody gets a second chance here. Okay. This is also a resurrection of the dead. Something that you thought it was dead in the water. Something that you thought couldn't grow. It does. It's heeding the call. Someone hears the call. They answer the call. Maybe it's a literal. Yeah, I don't know. Heeding the call. Like the call could be also feeling the, the pull. This internal. But it's also a final decision. See, it's four wands. It's it's marriage, union, new beginnings, 11-11. Somebody wants to fucking love you. Will you let them? Is, is, uh, is, uh, I can't even talk. I'm so flustered. Are there red flags? Hmm? If your answer is no, are you jumping into a fire pit if the answer is no? Are they in another relationship? No. Is there something wrong with them? No. Do you love them? Do you like them? Are you attracted to them? Yes. Then what's the fucking problem? Look at that. Past life soulmate connection here. Six of cups. It's why the feeling is so strong. You can't shake it. Because it's past life. I can't wait to see what is going to pop off in your guys' extended reading. You're extended. You can click by purchasing the link below. This is for the mid-May extended readings. Or you can just go straight to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. I also believe I have one ticket left for one of my, I think my last meet and greet, my virtual Zoom meet and greets. If you want to purchase that, it's also on my website. Knight of Swords here. It's something comes in quickly or there's fast communication. I feel like it's communication that goes left. That's what I just heard. You, you may have fought with them or there was some kind of miscommunication. I heard communication that goes left. So there's some kind of miscommunication. Could have been a slight argument because it's blunt information, y'all. Knight of Swords, blunt, fucking lovers. It's somebody wants to love you. The lovers is Gemini energy. We are in Gemini season right now. This is also a decision in love. This is also two old souls, past life, that have loved each other before in many past lives. What it feels like is that the souls have found each other again in this life but the muggle is scared because of shit that's popped off in the past that's what this is someone wants to love you do you want to be in love do you want to be loved could you be loved and be loved like bob marley said bitch could you be loved could you be could you be could you be loved could you be, could you be loved? Distant horizons. It could be dreams. This also speaks about possibly even distance to travel, right? There's a lot of travel. There's a anchor and a ship that could be somehow relevant or connected to somebody here too. Poverty. Oh, somebody is self-made. There was a lack. Somebody lacked something, whether it was lack of money, lack of comfort, lack of love somebody lacked something the poverty is lacking come you 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 come from something that it was non-existent I, I come from a broken home or someone here went without something whether it was money or love official person somebody here you see how he has his little like medals and things official person means someone here could have a particular title captain lieutenant sergeant um doctor you know shit like that your honor there's a title to it community they're surrounded by a lot of people they may have a lot of friends it could be social mm, expectation someone 
they're worried about someone's expectation or fulfilling someone's expectation of them could be a mother figure or a mother like wanting to do right or good for them or they had a, a particular expectation for this person or this is your energy and saying like well i just expect the other shoe to drop it's a kind of a weird vibe of like just fucking debbie downer you know freaking self-sabotage keys on a ring many options a decision one night stand the sword and rose clarity truth revelation someone's afraid oh this is just gonna be a one night stand i feel like someone feels like that you know how much times i see the quote that says old keys can't open new doors i see it fucking constantly they see the decision thing again it also talks about unconventional. This may not happen the conventional way. And that's what scares somebody is they go like, um, it's not, it didn't happen the right way that it would normally happen. So I can't trust it. Well, what the fuck? Why you can't trust Cupid's arrow? This is your last card. And then we're going to head into your extended. Have faith. Love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. But you also have hesitation. Bitch, somebody want to love you. All right, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Do not get scammed. There's a lot of people on Instagram pretending to be me. I'm not accepting any personal reading requests. So I would never message you to send me money for a personal reading request. You guys always come to me when I am accepting requests. I'll never ever chase you or ask you if you want a reading. Those are fake accounts. Don't get scammed. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And also... I think that's it right saltwaterheelstarot.com go to my website pick up that last ticket for my virtual zoom meet and greet and also what was there also oh to purchase the extended all right i'll see you in your extended love you